peace. And what's up, brother Kwame? I'm looking for my cheat sheet, man. I keep misplacing my cheat sheet. I don't know it's some type of conspiracy going on around my around my place. Um, I tried to do my exercises this morning. My back was killing me, man. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's supposed to be getting worse. But shit. All right. So, um, um, I have my plate in front of me. Cause y'all know I did the fast thing, so now I gotta put the weight back on. With y'all, y'all watch me lose the weight, y'all don't watch me gain the weight as well, right? So um, I, I got my plate in front of me, so we are gonna do um, our uh, great day, Mr. Blakely. Um, the day is Ujima. I wanna welcome everybody um, and say group great Ujima to you, all right? Um, and we are about to toast the ancestors. Of course, you know I'm going to do my ranting. Today on this show, we're going to be talking about this herb called rhodiola. They call it the golden root. Um, one, of my, um, one of my personal uh, uh, nutritionists, uh, herbalist, um, who used to help me out with stuff. I can't remember the man's name. I'm, it's going to come to me. Well, anyway, I used to work over sunflower. He first introduced me to rhodiola, and he called it the American ginseng. He said the North American ginseng. And um, I recently did some research, and I ran across rhodiola. So I want to share uh, the information I got about rhodiola, but we're going to do it like a boss. I got the plate today. We got some fermented food. We're going to be eating the fermented foods. We're going to be eating the, the bread that um, I made with my own hands, the, it's sort of the, um, the, the pizza-like bread that I made, um, the sourdough that I made. Um, we're going to also be sampling some uh, peach cider today. Um, one of my brothers requested some peach um, ambrosia. So I'm like, all right, cool. Peach is kind of hard to break down. So um, I went to a farmer's market. And they had this peach smoothie, a peach cider smoothie. And I taste this peach cider smoothie. I said, ooh, ooh, you know. So I got me a cup, another cup, got my son a cup. We stopped yesterday, and it was just about to close. He was trying to lock the door. And I said, hold on, hold on. I just want to see if y'all got some peach, um, some peach cider. He said, oh, yeah, we got peach cider. He let it out. So today we're going to sample peach cider just a little bit, right? And then we're going to mix it in. If it's good, we're going to mix it in with our health drink because the ambrosia should be coming out tonight. So we probably will be toasting with ambrosia again next week. I mean, no, uh, on Ujima, right? But, um, you know. I also learned an important lesson last night, right? Um, uh, I had let too much of the Death Eater Ambrosia sit, and it went vinegar. And I had to pour half that shit out. I lost, I used this whole thing of honey. I lost a whole bunch of honey. So that's a pretty expensive lesson there. Um, so, but that, that was some good vinegar that I had to pour down the sink. All right, so now let's go and do our water. You know, part of the rules in family, in order for us to salute our ancestors, we first have to, in a sense, take care of ourselves. So the challenge is to take care of yourself. Today, I am drinking on that Volvic um, natural spring water, all right? Calcium, um, sulfites, magnesium, potassium, bicarbonate, silica, and chlorides. Now, we know those silicas help clean out the pineal gland. So, you know, let's go and see how this water does. This water, you know, I'm not really as concerned because a lot of people be screaming, oh man, you need to have the, the pH, the pH, you know, uh, the high pH level. This is a, a seven pH, but I'm not really concerned about that because your body need both. So we need balance, you know, you know, so uh, of course, pour it in the blue glass. Come on, drink up with me, fam. This is how many ounces? 
1.58 quarts. I don't know what that means. Mmm, some good water. I didn't like spring water at first, but now it's really growing on me. Come on now, drink up that water. Don't be falling off when it's time to do some work. Get that water in you. Come on, let's go. So I see now that Facebook, they got this thing where you can look at, see who is watching you live on the bottom of the screen. That's interesting. All right. Get that up out of there. All right. So I sent out an invite. Uh, invite Blakely to broadcast. All right. So now you got to, now you got to the broadcast. I don't understand. I don't I, I, I'm going to be doing some research on this real soon. So, um, why do you have to invite them if they're already there? Somebody explain that to me. All right. So now it's time for us to mix up our help drink. Since we ain't got that ambrosia, first let's take a sip of this peach cider. See what we're dealing with. Mmm. Smell good. It's a nice brown, light brown color. Oh shit. Okay. I taste the peach. I taste more apple cider. So they use a lot of apple cider vinegar in this. No, apple cider, apple cider, not apple cider vinegar. All right. So we're going to use this as the base of our health drink. So we'll take a little bit of lime. Put some lime juice in there. Alright. Uh, if you got something to mix up with me, come on, mix it up with me. You know what I'm saying? Because we're doing this until, you know, I'm hell, this might become a regular part of it now. Because I'm going to do this. Ooh. I got a ginseng ambrosia downstairs. We'll do that one tomorrow. Alright. Ooh. I just thought about it. All right, so now we're gonna start. Usually, I would I would do and just put the whole damn lime down in there, but I I I want to do it for some of y'all that might be soft-hearted towards limes and shit. You know, I will throw the whole goddamn lime in there, seeds and all. I want I want when I when I'm making a smoothie, I'm making. As a matter of fact, close your eyes. If you're sensitive to to the life of a lime, because it is this this is not enough fruit to fill all the way up to the top, this lime is gonna get it. So we're gonna take some of this lovely, lovely, lovely cider. I'll put it in there. We're gonna put the devil bowl over here for, the, for those that didn't see that that's that Mickey Mouse little cup so we're going to put the devil bowl over there alright I'm going to screw this on nice and tight make sure ain't none of the keys around because you know 
I'll let y'all see my little thing here. drink the ginseng black seed man but I am gonna show it because those black seeds be floating up and down inside the thing now I'm I'm gonna try not to right I ain't gonna drink it man not all of it not all of it all right I have a I have a important announcement for those of you that's in the Columbus area because we possibly may be being blessed with uh, a workshop that's coming back to Columbus. I ain't gonna say nothing yet, but so get ready. We're gonna find some way to tie it into Kwanzaa because we only. Four, we what five months away from Kwanzaa. Since I'm doing the Goose Supper Challenge and stuff like that, it only makes sense, right? So, we're gonna take that, we're gonna pour that in there, like so. I'm not gonna fill it up, fam, because I still got to eat a little bit and, and do the show, so I'll save some of this for later. But we'll do enough to do the toast right now, right? Um, like I said, we're doing the show. We're doing the show now like a boss. You see, I got the I got the nice little fancy plate. I'm gonna spread some of the fermented foods out, and we gonna sit down and we gonna sit down and talk like 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 bosses, right? We gonna sit down and talk like chiefs, right? Sitting at the council table, right? Talking, cause we gotta get used to that, right? Because we are we are royalty, right? You know, well at least the ones of us that that tune in, the ones of us that's able to get up, the ones of us that's that's able to fight back the sleep monster to, to get up and do this type of stuff. To go to bed, got the discipline to go to bed. You know what I'm saying? Got the discipline to get up. Got the discipline to do what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? So we need to be talking like bosses. So I got the plate right now until I get back on my intermittent fast, right? So now, first, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. On this great day of Ujima, we call the creator to bless us as we look into the world and we seek out examples of um, um, co collective work and responsibility, right? We look for it out there in the world today. We ask the Creator to bless our eyes so that we can see it, bless our ears so we can hear it, bless our nose so that we can smell it, bless all of our senses so that we know that it's going on around us and we can recognize it and we can start utilizing, utilizing that wisdom in our lives. So we lift up the Creator today and we ask the Creator to move within us, move around us, move around our friends and family and bless and touch each and every individual that we come in contact with. And to also bless ourselves, right? So we lift up our glass to the Creator and we say, I say. From there we move to our personal family, right? Our personal history. We move to our personal ancestors. We call on them. We call them into the room because we know that what we're doing is real. So we ask our ancestors to walk with us, to walk amongst us. We ask our ancestors to bless us in, in our comings and our going. We ask our ancestors to, to touch our feet so the road that we walk, we won't have to worry about stumbling over no stones. And if we do stumble, may we fall into wealth, right? If we do stumble, may, may we fall into victory. If we do stumble, may we fall into um, 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 innovation, right? You know, because every now and then you do have to trip, right? You know, but we don't have to complain about it. We could fall right into wealth. We could fall right into innovation. We could fall right into prosperity. We could fall uh, uh, right into victory, 
right? So we lift up our glass. We ask our ancestors to move out in front of us and move around us and to, to protect us when protection is needed, to, to, to also challenge us when the challenge is needed. So we call on our ancestors. We remember those, 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 uh, those brothers and those sisters, those aunts and those uncles, those mothers and those fathers, those brothers and those sisters and those cousins, those nieces and those nephews that made the transition before us. And we lift up our glass and we thank the Creator for allowing them to partake in our lives, the actual life and, and basically the life that we are living right now because we got many ancestors that we weren't privileged enough to meet, but they do play a major part in our family pyramid. So we lift them up. So I go down my family line, Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texan and Davidson Brown, C. Rosalie, Tilly, George, William, Walter, Christopher, Chris, and Fanny Ganson, I lean out go Chris, uh, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Miles, uh, Wash Ellis, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines. Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pittman L, Noma Wax, Sepet Ma Ra, Tony Clark, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo, um, Brother Kojo, the photographer, um, Kojo Kamal, I think that's his name. Uh, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie, Mark Walsh, Pastor Yusuf Weston. We lift up our glass and we say, I say. From there, we move on to this present moment. We thank the Creator for allowing us to wake up in another Ujima. We're going to find Ujima and everything that we think, say, and do today. We tell us when we say Ashe. From there, we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. We say Ashe. From there, thank you. Right? Toast you. And your struggles, your victories. Your defeats, we toast. We lift you up. Ancestors are with us right now. Call them while you can. Right? Get what you need. So, um, toast you and say Ashe. Ashe, 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 wish you peace, power, in 100 years. Good, but real thick. Mm. Like eating. Mix that up again. I know, I know, I know. I should put it back in. But I'm drinking this. Thanks for the share, Brother Kwame. All right. I'm about to set up the about to set up the council room table so we can talk about this next thing. So we can be sitting around talking like bosses. stomach right so we can eat say the rest of that for later you know since I've been off this fast man I haven't had to have coffee I mean I've been eating like crazy but so toast 
Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Mm. That's a lot better. Peach is pretty good. I think it's going to turn out nice. I'm going to do about a half gallon of that peach. Mm. All right. Peace, fam.